With profile complete, I'm just going to go to the home view, select the profile, and then from the menu select revolve. Then I'm going to select the axis. I can select 360 from the drop down list or enter it. Press the function 6 key and there's the revolve feature. So I know I have half of the yo-yo design. I can turn off the visibility of the sketch from hide sketches. Now most of these designs require some sort of connection to hold them together, some sort of bolted connection or threaded connection. I'm going to model that. So I'm selecting that face and I'm going to create a circle on that face. So sketch, circle. I'm going to specify the radius. It needs to be just slightly larger than the original one which was 5. So I'll make it 5.1. So with that circle created, I'm now going to extrude that circle. So I select it, and from the menu select Extrude. Grab that arrow so I can drag that. I'm going to look at the front view in this case, which is kind of a side view, and drag it so it's beyond the left-hand edge. It's negative 15, which is fine. But be careful, it's trying to cut a hole. We want to make sure it's a new solid, so select New Solid from the list. And by doing that, we actually have two separate pieces. You can see the body and the pin going through the center. Eventually, we'll group those together, but for the moment, we'll leave them separate. And again, hide sketch. Let's take away that sharp corner. Go to Modify, Fill It. Select the edge. Try 0 0.5. And I'd like it to be a little bit bigger than that, so let's go to 1. That's good. So now we have all the parts required before we mirror those parts. From the pattern menu, I'm going to select mirror. Keep in mind there are two parts here, so I'm going to select the body and that little shaft or pin. Then I select the mirror plane, which is the face. And we can see the mirror now being previewed. Just double check that everything was selected correctly. And it is. Now what we want to do is customize our yo-yo with colors and perhaps some text.